What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with Samsung Galaxy A16 5G tips and tricks and hidden features. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to get the most out of your device. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. Now despite this being a budget smartphone, this device is actually packed full of a bunch of different awesome features, and I'm looking forward to showing you the best ones here in this video. Now in addition to that, on my TikTok and Instagram, I have a lot of bonus content about this phone that you can't find here. So make sure to also follow me on those platforms. Now the first thing I want to show you is a quick and easy way to get to the camera app on the device, and all you have to do is simply double press on the power button. So just double press, and you can see the camera immediately appears. And it doesn't matter where you are within the operating system, this feature is present here. Now this feature is actually called Side Key, and you can further customize it. So pull down the shade here, go to the gear icon for the settings, go to search, type in Side, and let it load. And you'll see right there, well it's called Side Button, but you can see right there Side Button. So we'll go there, and you can see that by default it does launch the camera app, but you can actually customize this to open up any app of your choosing. So for example, I'm going to pick Instagram and then I'm gonna exit out. And then now when I double press on the power button, it pulls up Instagram. So that's definitely really useful. Now the next hidden feature I wanna show you is called edge panels. So this is actually not enabled by default. So you do have to activate this, but pull down the shade here, go to the settings, go to search, type in edge panels, and you'll see it right there. So go there, and then from there, go here, and then enable that, and then now you'll see on the upper right side here, there is this little sidebar. And if you slide that over, it does pop out the edge panel. Now they have already configured some apps here by default. Now if you tap on these dots, it'll pull up all the various apps on your device. So you can quickly go to any app that you want. You can also go to this pen icon right here, and then from there, you can customize how you want it to be here in the edge panel itself. And then exiting back out here, if you go to the gear icon right here, you can see that there's a bunch of other options here for the edge panels. So by default, it of course has your various apps. You can also have it be your contacts, smart select, various tasks, weather, tools, reminders, and even the clipboard. And there's even more options here in the Galaxy Store. But going back over to the main edge panels area here in the settings, there's even another customization. If you tap on handle right there, you'll see that you can actually further customize the way the handle itself looks. You can change the placement, for example, you can move it down, you can move it up, you can put on the left side if you want to, you can keep it on the right side, you can also lock the position of that, you can even change the color of the edge panel, you can pick the transparency, the size of it as well, and more. But I'm definitely a big fan of this edge panel feature. Now the next thing I wanna show you is how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. So taking a screenshot here with the device is very simple. To do a screenshot, all you have to do is hold the volume down and power button for about a second, and then just like that, it does take the screenshot. Then from there, you can edit it or share it or do whatever you want. But that's how to take a screenshot with the A16 5G. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A16 5G, we do have the traditional Android 3 button navigation enabled here by default. And I know for many people, this is their preference. However, this phone is also compatible with gesture-based navigation. So let me show you at least how to set that up. And who knows, maybe you'll prefer that instead. All you have to do is pull down the shade here, go to the settings. Then from there, go to the search, type in nav, and then you'll see navigation bar, go there. And then now go here. And then you'll see that there's the option for swipe gestures. But the first thing is under buttons, there is more options right here. And if you want to, you can switch the back button to the left side and recent apps to the right side. So I think if you're left-handed, for example, this implementation would make a lot more sense. But going back here, you can pick swipe gestures. And then now those three buttons turn into one small line here on the bottom of the phone. Then from there, you can swipe up to go home. You can swipe partially up to go to your recent apps and then swipe from the side to go back. Now going over to more options, you can adjust the sensitivity as well if you wish, so that might help you. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A16 5G, we have a really awesome 6.7 inch display. This display looks great because it's AMOLED, and overall it's just excellent. It's a great large canvas to view content. However, when you wanna use the phone with just one hand, that can be difficult if not impossible. So thankfully, Samsung has come up with a really good solution to this, and it's called one-handed mode. Now to activate one-handed mode, pull down the shade, Go to the settings, go to search, 
type in one handed and you'll see right there one handed mode go there and then from there go here and then enable that and then now you'll see that there are several options here so there are actually two different ways to use one handed mode the first option here is with a gesture so swipe down on the middle button and then you can see we're now in one handed mode so i can now reach all portions of the operating system and you can see it can do this anywhere throughout the phone so it's almost like we're getting a mini phone right here and then from there if you want to move it to the left side you can do that too if you want to change the position you can also do that as well and if you want to grab onto the corner you can also adjust the size of it in that way and then to get out of this just tap on the outside of it and the other option here is to just double tap on the home button to activate this so you also have that option as well and then again you're getting those same customizations of resizing and all of that too so i do like that there's different ways to use this feature and it's definitely very helpful now the next thing i want to show you is how to do split screen with the galaxy a16 5g so all you have to do is pick a recent app so for example i want to have one half of the phone be google chrome hold down on the logo there and then just drop the app like that. And then now you can pick from any app on the phone to be the other app. So I'm gonna pick the calculator. And then now you can see it's a 50-50 split. Now if I do wanna favorite this, I have that ability. And then if I want to switch it around, I have that ability as well. And then if I do want one of these apps to take over completely, I can just drag that out like that. And then now it is taken over. Now with the Galaxy A16 5G, we are getting a very large 5,000 milliamp hour internal battery, which is great. But if you do find yourself in a situation where you think you're going to be running out of battery and no ability to recharge the phone, this device does have power saving mode. So simply pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to search, type in battery, and then from there, tap on battery. And then from here, there's a lot of different options. However, for this purpose, we're going to focus on power saving. So if you go here, you can see that if you initiate power saving, it's going to cut out a lot of different background tasks. It's going to lower the refresh rate down to 60 hertz. And then if you want to further customize that, you can also have it turn off 5G, decrease brightness, limit the CPU speed, a lot of different options here for power saving. But you can see in return for that, you'll be getting a lot longer battery life out of your device. Now, of course, I don't recommend always using power saving mode because you're not going to be getting the same experience when using the device, but it's still a very useful feature to have. There's also a feature here called battery protection. So if you do enable this feature, the battery will last a lot longer and won't degrade, which happens with pretty much every smartphone. So the first option here is basic. So when the phone reaches 100%, the charging will then stop until the phone's back down to 95%. So the phone is not just constantly charging, which is really bad for the battery. There's also an adaptive option here too, and then also maximum. So your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80%. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of having the phone stop at 80% because you are technically losing out on 20% of your battery. But I feel like this basic option is kind of the best of both worlds. And I wish other smartphone brands would actually incorporate this because that does make a lot more sense having the phone stop charging 100%, but then picking back up at 95%. And technically, if you do want the battery to last even longer, you can go to charging settings and turn off fast charging. However, I feel like the fast charging on this device is actually one of the best features of it. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A16 5G, you can actually customize the lock screen here. And all you have to do is just hold down on the lock screen, put in your pin code, and then from there, it'll pop up. So for example, you can actually add widgets if you want to. You can even change the way that the time looks. You can pick the color of the actual font. You can pretty much customize anything here. You can even customize if you want any icons to show up on the lock screen or if you want full details or whatever you want to get. And then also you can even change if you want the phone icon in the corner or if you want to change if you want the camera in the corner. You can customize pretty much all of this. And you can even add contact information and various effects as well. So a lot of different options here for customizing the lock screen and definitely a really useful feature here on the device. But this concludes my video on tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. But this is Kevin here, this is the A16 5G, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.